What is up? I mean, this guy had me come over and take a look at this big McQuay unit. It wasn't cooling for our kitchen here. So, yeah, I think uh, I think you need uh, air filters that the air can pass through. They are those things are plugged. This looks like some construction drywall on there, especially this one. Yeah, that thing looks alive. <laughs> That's nasty. Compressors were chugging, man. They had like 35 degree, right above freezing temperatures coming back to the you know, it's just within a few minutes of it running. Twin compressors. Hit the sucker up with some foaming cleaner. That's just a no rinse. two compressors take the panels off it's not all that quiet you can definitely hear it running but I think this unit's probably just as loud once it gets going let's see here Of course, if you put the covers on, you can't hear this one at all, but... To actually find something that's as loud, or maybe just a tad bit louder than a Goodman, even though it's a, not very old. Sucker's so definitely growling pretty good. Running better, though. Section line about 42, 41, instead of 35 and dropping about 63 on the section line. That was like 55 for the pressure before. Now it's 63. Seven degrees warmer coming back. So breathing a lot better now. Get the stereo sound of a of a McQuay growling and a Goodman growling. Rah! We'll see how that came out later. Hey, of course when you put the cover back on, you can't hear it. All you hear is the Goodman over there. old Goodman units, they used to have an enclosed section around the compressor and the controls, just like Lennox. It was almost like they did a similar design of Lennox, except for it was a lot cheaper and had chicken wire, you know, around the coil and for a fan support. That part of it sucked. Fan section still sucked. But it was a lot better unit uh, that Goodman made back in the 90s, early 90s, than they did once they got in the late 90s, 2000s and they went square with a four-sided coil and chicken wire support. Then this is the next generation, of course, which is still just a four-sided coil with flimsy. It's a, it's a big improvement, but it's still just, it's still just cheap. It's still low bid stuff. Better than it was, quieter than it was. But I don't know, they should have built off the old design, man, with a compressor and a little compartment. Even when they, because they had Bristol compressors back then, they were, they were still quieter than than their ones they made after that when they went from four uh, three-sided coil to a four-sided coil and put the compressor behind the coil. That's just dumb. Leave it to Goodman for them to, you know, go from cheap to worse for the spell of brown turds that they made throughout the late 90s and all through the 2000s. I mean, I will stand firm. Those are the biggest pieces of shit that any air conditioner manufacturer's ever made that I have ever seen. I mean, Goodman had nowhere to go but up after those brown turd Desert Series heat pumps. So of course these seem like gold compared to those things. 